There's a big difference between buying that first property and uh, renting it out for $800 and then growing a the business to where you're doing $12 million in wholesale deals a year. So tell us the story. How did you get involved in wholesaling? Really, when I, when I started, when I bought that first deal, I then quickly told myself, I need to stop working the family business and like, I need to quit that and go to real estate full time. If I really want to make an impact in my future, my career, my finances, I also wasn't really happy working in the car dealership. So. I'm like, if I want to increase my happiness levels and hit my goals, I need to quit. So I quit the dealer and, um, you know, although I learned a ton and it was a great experience, I just I quit because I knew it wasn't for me. And um, then at that point I said, okay, what do I do now? So, you know, I'm a young guy, I was, you know, I, I know podcasts, I know YouTube. So I started, I found a podcast, which is Sean Terry's Flip to Freedom. And um, I just started listening. I started listening. I started doing and that led me to have conversations about it to people. And someone introduced me to a wholesaler that was in my local market. And he said he was willing to teach me. I had to follow him around a little bit, but then he said he was willing to teach me. Um, and then, I, you know, he asked me for money to teach him. I didn't have any money. I literally invested all my money in the house, but I was able to find a way to borrow the money, pay them back, got creative with the mentor and, um, that's how I got in really just from like having conversations and people's like, Hey, I know somebody that does that. Here's his number. So I texted him, called him, kind of figured it out. Then we made a structure that worked like a mentoring agreement. And, um, he taught me enough to get my first deal and he taught me enough to get my third and fifth. And, and then that's how I really got started in wholesaling really from, from just conception to podcast to finding a mentor. Then, you know, you do one deal, then you can do three and you can do a hundred. So if you knew back when you started with that first deal, if you knew back then what you now know today, what would you have gone back and done differently at the start of your real estate investing career? Start faster. <laughs> now, what uh, does that mean? What does that mean? Start faster? Yeah, there was some hesitation in the beginning. Like I knew that I wasn't happy where I was at in my job. And um, so there was some hesitation. I wanted to stay and make it work. And I tried this and I tried that. But once I made the decision, okay, I'm done with this and I'm on to real estate, then it was off to the races. I probably, not that I did everything correctly, but I, I probably wouldn't have done anything much differently. Um, once I committed, I feel like I, I was, I was happy with what I did, right? I, I went out, I bought my first deal very, within the first month and, uh, I went out and found a mentor within the second month. And I went out and started trying and doing deals the day after I, I met the guy. So like. Honestly, to try differently, I would just, I would have tried sooner, um, maybe organize myself a little bit more of like what I'm going to do with my time on a daily basis. But that those kind of skills, I feel like you learn as you go. Well, one of the smartest things you did for sure was very, very early in your career, you got a mentor or a coach to work with you instead of you trying to, you know, navigate this business by yourself instead of working with, you know, doing it by yourself, you're working with somebody that already knew what they were doing. Right. 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 And honestly, I did it like, uh, at that point, I, I didn't really realize the benefit I was getting from it. Um, I just did it cause I'm like, Oh, he knows what to do. And so therefore he could tell me what to do for money. Awesome. Like that's like kind of how school is, right? If you go to college, you pay a professor to teach you marketing or finance or whatever. So I'm like, okay, this is normal. I, I, for some reason in my mind, I thought it was normal. And, um, it, it was such a huge benefit. And, um, ever since, I mean, I haven't got to six figures a year in coaching spend yet, but I'm really close. Um, and ever since, I mean, we, you know, we invest a lot on coaching on myself, my brain for my business, everything like that. So it was, that was probably one of the huge steps without that. I wouldn't have got there so fast.